Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have just come from a meeting with the leaders of both parties in the Congress, which were held in the cabinet room in the White House. I briefed them on the facts of the situation in the Dominican Republic. I want to make those same facts known to all the American people and to all the world. There are times in the affairs of nations when great principles are tested in an ordeal of conflict and danger. This is such a time for American nations. At stake are the lives of thousands, the liberty of a nation, and the principles and the values of all the American republics. And that is why the hopes and the concern of this entire hemisphere are on this uh, Sabbath Sunday focused on the Dominican Republic. In the dark mist of conflict and violence, revolution and confusion, it is not easy to find clear and unclouded truths. But certain things are clear, and they require equally clear action. To understand, I think it's necessary to begin with the events of eight or nine days ago. Last week, our observers warned of an approaching political storm in the Dominican Republic. I immediately asked our ambassador to return to Washington at once so that we might discuss the situation and might plan a course of conduct. But events soon outran our hopes for peace. And Saturday, April 24th, eight days ago, while Ambassador Bennett was conferring with the highest officials <coughs> of your government, revolution erupted in the Dominican Republic. Elements of the military forces of that country overthrew their government. However, the rebels themselves were divided. Some wanted to restore former President Juan Bosch. Others opposed his restoration. President Bosch, elected after the fall of Trujillo and his assassination, had been driven from office by an earlier revolution in the Dominican Republic. And those who opposed Mr. Bosch's return formed a military committee in an effort to control that country. The others took to the street and they began to lead a revolt on behalf of President Bosch. Control and effective government dissolved in conflict and confusion. <laughs> and meanwhile, the United States was making a constant effort to restore peace. From Saturday afternoon onward, our embassy urged a ceasefire. And I and all the officials of the American government worked with every weapon at our command to achieve it. On Tuesday, the situation of turmoil was presented to the Peace Committee of the Organization of American States. On Wednesday, the entire Council of the Organization of American States received a full report from the Dominican ambassador. Meanwhile, all this time, from Saturday to Wednesday, the danger was mounting even though we were deeply saddened by bloodshed and violence in a close and friendly neighbor. We had no desire to interfere in the affairs of a sister republic. On Wednesday afternoon, there was no longer any choice for the man who is your president.